Hello everyone and welcome to this Wondershare Unit Converter video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the various ways to add media files inside of the program. First, you want to of course launch the application. And to start converting media files, we actually need to add them to Wondershare Unit Converter first. And there are a few different methods, so let's take a look at them. Method 1 is adding media files by buttons. If we go into our video converter, and you can see we have a document button, we can add files, add folders, adding from a device, or add from a camcorder. This will give us full options to add either a bunch of individual files, a whole folder full of video files. If we have a device plugged into our computer like our phone or camera or camcorder, we can also add them directly from here. So if I select say add files, I can then go in and select some multiple files and then it will import a whole series of all the files I select. And of course the same goes if you select an entire folder, you can import a whole folder full of files to save you from having to click on each of them. And if you're bringing it in from a device, it will usually just read from the device's hard drive and then allow you to select which files are plugged in. The second method is by directly dragging and dropping our files into the program. So I can select them on my Windows or Mac Explorer and bring them in directly like this, which will quickly add them in the same manner as the previous methods. So that's actually the few methods we can use to add files into the program. Next up is a quick introduction on the conversion list. After you've added all these files, of course they're going to appear nicely ordered as we selected them uh, in the program. And here we can also view information about these files. We can view any plugged in audio subtitle files. We can also select different languages if it's available. And if you hit the I button on the right here, you can view all the important metadata about your files. And if at any time you want to remove one of the files from conversion, hit the X button and it will simply remove it uh, as long as you confirmed it. And that's actually gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's how to add media files using Wondershare Uniconverter.